Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Blanca. So I am doing a thing, you guys. I actually decided to remove the Schomburgias. So I have a total of three cuttings. This one is pretty massive. Um, I have plans for them. I am headed over to um, an orchid store. I'm headed over to Ofi. Uh, they're gonna help me out. We are going to mount these babies. We are going to um, just do a new project uh, that I'm gonna be adding to my garden. I can't wait. I have to tell you, um, you know, to remove the Schamburkias, it wasn't too, too hard. Um, this is what I left behind. You know, I soaked them for a little bit and then I just pulled them right off. Um, so, you know, gonna miss seeing them here, but if they're not happy, they're not blooming, I need to relocate them. And with you guys extra push, after I posted yesterday's video and you guys were like, move on, they're not giving you blooms, I decided to do it. So there are three uh, pretty big divisions. Um, this one's got three pseudobulbs, this one also, and this one's got a, a lot of pseudobulbs. So I might divide this one um, uh, probably I can even probably get three divisions from, from this guy. So headed over to Ofi, I'm gonna see, see you guys there. And I really want you guys to um, just accompany me um, doing this project, I'm excited. So next stop, Ofi Orchid Supply. All right, you guys, so I just got to Ofi. I am so excited to start this project. Um, I have everything already set up. So I'm gonna show you what I am planning to do. All right, so Mr. Carlos from Ofi is gonna help me out. Hello. So helpful. So I, this is what happened to my Schomburgias on my oak tree. I removed them and now they are here. Look at how many divisions. I think we're gonna divide this one. Yeah. Maybe like two or three times more. Yeah. All right, so we brought the, we brought the Schomburgias. We brought the, um, the cuttings that Karen gave me from her collection and we are starting. So I've got some holy pots with some zip ties and this wire cage. What is this called? The iron cage, wire uh, cage? We call it Vanda Mesh. Oh, it's called the Vanda Mesh. And it's um, it's this wiring cage. And what Carlos is doing is that he is putting, you guys, and I know, I am not the handiest person, so I need help. <laughs> All right, so there you go. He got the zip ties, he put them with through the-, the Put them through the holes, um, secured the zip ties, and put the Vanda cage, Vanda mesh. What's it called again? Vanda mesh. Vanda mesh. So here we go. Oh, so excited! All right, and we're gonna tie. I put the roots through the mesh already. Yeah, the roots through the mesh. This way, they're not like yes. in the way and not getting disturbed. And there's your tag. Yes, isn't that tag cool? She did it for me, Karen. So we're putting, there you go, we're putting, and he is securing. Let me see, show you guys what he's doing. So he's securing a with a zip tie. Just now, secure. the point I'm choosing for the zip tie is where the old spike was. Okay because that's pretty much a mature plant. Part of the plant is not gonna do much in there. I'm doing this one now, so it's presented. And notice that I'm not tightening it all the way. I'm getting a little bit loose. Okay, so it's he's not, not like squeezing it so that you're squeezing you, you the don't, plant. You don't strangle the plant exactly because she, not only does she grow up, she also grows upwards. Nice, okay. And now... So we're zip tying it without making it too, too tight. You see, I probably would have like ugh, tightened it. So that's a good tip. Because knowing me, I probably would have tightened it. Like the tighter, the better. Yeah. And, then use and then he's using some green wire. Twist, twist ties to or um, twist ties. Secure it properly to the cage. Yeah. Cool. And same thing. You just present it. You don't have to strangle. You keep in mind that the plant grows upwards and outwards. Okay. So you. So upwards and outwards is how the plant is growing. So you don't want to tie it up too, too much and make it too, Oop. too tight. And it's already looking amazing. So we're going to secure it all up. 
And this is my hardest, where I find to me is the hardest is how to keep it stable on rainy, on windy days and all that. So we're gonna fill this up. I think with this coarse charcoal, Correct. is that what we're gonna fill it up with? Yeah. So it doesn't, so it's heavy? Yeah. Well, the pot itself is very heavy, um, but yeah. that's gonna secure that it doesn't do any wobble or anything like that. Okay. So you can yeah. still tighten the zip ties a little bit more. Yeah, so the key but is okay. to really get the cage in there that doesn't wobble around. And I'm gonna continue doing that all the way through through all all of my van does. Because this one's this one's pretty pretty secured in here. So I'm super super excited. And then I have to find something to do with my shamburkias. So let um let's get all of the vandas on their little mesh and then see how we're gonna incorporate shamburkias or maybe make a whole different shamburkia tower. I love this pork. So while Carlos is doing that, I'm just gonna show you around so you can see what they have this weekend. Now their show is next weekend, April 30, 30th and May 1st, where they're gonna have um, different vendors over here and they're also open to the public. So like you guys have seen in my videos and they always have these beautiful dancing ladies available. And this is Yancidium Levin Heart. And I'm thinking that where I took those shamburkias off of that oak tree, maybe I'm thinking to replace it with some dancing ladies. Thinking about that. Thinking that's gonna be my, my other projects. I have different projects in mind. <laughs> Always thinking of something. So let me show you the supplies that he's using. So we're using some holy pots, which they have here in different sizes. Um, actually that one, the, the pot that I actually ended up getting it did not come from here because I needed something a little bit bigger. But you can always get some, some pots from here and open some holes at the bottom. We're using the Vanda mesh, which is this, to attach them on there. And hopefully I'll be able to use some of the cork for the other, for the Shamburkis. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Looking good. Wow, I love it. I can't wait to see these in my garden. All right, so let's fast forward a little bit and show you what's next. All right, one thing that I wanted to point out, notice where I'm setting the vandas. Okay. I am not bringing it all the way down to the pot because you don't need that. You need separation from the media to the plant itself. Because okay. actually these are air plants, completely air plants. So right. all you want is the roots. If they if the roots want to, they're free to go into the media. The charcoal that we're gonna put on the bottom. Okay. But they don't really need it. So I keep them separated. That way the plant grows healthy and fine. Yeah, so you what Carlos said um, is that you always want to keep a separation between the bottom of the plant and the pot and the media. Because they are air plants. They don't need to be in media, but if the roots decide that they want some, then they can always just intertwine in there on their own because we are adding the, uh, the charcoal. Yeah. And, and the charcoal is really good for fungus. Uh, yes. Yes. I learned that last show. Charcoal is really, really good to prevent um, and I'm to using, bring in fungus. I'm using zip ties here, but you can use... Green wire. You can use green wire. Okay. You can use uh, the, the, any type of wire or anything, really. There are some people that go through the trouble of, of drilling holes into the pot and then cutting the wires and the setup. It's, it's a little more involved. Right. So there's always options. When it of comes course. to orchestra, there's always, always options. Yeah, I was telling them you can always drill holes with a concrete drill bit. Yep. The thing is that we didn't have a concrete drill bit, so we, you know, we have, I have to improvise. So we're doing part. the best one we have. Yeah, exactly. But you know what? These guys that watch my channel are very handy. <laughs> They will be able to figure it out. I'm just the, the, the one that can't figure it out and I, that's why I need your help. <laughs> You're the instigator. Yep. We should do a, set up a class here during the week. Bring your orchids and we'll, <laughs> bring your orchids and we'll do a, a mounting class. <laughs> oh. yeah, me and my bright ideas. Everybody's welcome. We'll try to help everybody as much as possible. And you guys do. But sometimes we have to go home. Yeah. 
they're very helpful you guys when they're not here they're doing every single orchid show in florida oh, look at this one all right this encyclia is gorgeous you know coming to these orchid show orchid shows i was going to say coming to these nurseries i always find something that i want to go home with what is this this is an encyclia I can't get the tag out. Look how pretty it is. And then here's the Maxillaria's Yamara Yellows. That's not like pineapple to me. Mm, pineapple and coconut, you guys. Yamara Yellow. And they have a bunch. And these are 35. Not bad. And then I also wanted to show you. They have a Hoya section. And then they have Schomburgias. See where they're looking at, where Chris is looking at right now? They have Schomburgias and mounts. Look how nice. Beautiful. And they have the little <laughs> slow release. <laughs> Look at that beautiful shum. Look at this beautiful color. This is awesome. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Is that what we're deciding? Decisions, decisions? Yeah, that, uh... Are you deciding which one to get and you don't know? They all look so nice. Yeah. Are they all the same color? Yeah. Ah, oh, beautiful. How much are these? 45. 45 in the mount. Beautiful. They come mounted. They're ready to be hanged. They come with the little hand and everything. That's what I'm telling you. You, you, you. you mount everything and I will buy everything mounted. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're competing as Nelson. Yeah. Look at the flower. Do these have tags? Uh, no, black and no. No. We can get it for you, I guess. But I don't know. Did these tags. come off like one of your trees, like mine? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to know the color of mine. I would love it. Okay, so do you want to do them all in here? <laughs> do we have? I think I have another. All right, we're pausing really quick. All right, so Vandas have are secured. All right, so Vandas have been secured on the Vanda mesh. Van the cage, right? <laughs> he laughs at me. <laughs> They've been secured already. They look so pretty already. And then I'm gonna fill this up with the charcoal. And then now we're working on the Schomburgias. Yeah. So what are we doing here? Okay, we're gonna mount this on the mesh also. Okay. And when you mount things okay. onto a tree or onto a bull or anything else, you want the new part of the plant to be facing the surface that you're mounting it Right. To, so it grows onto it. Okay. This one here, after her friend Blanca <laughs> tore it off her own tree, <laughs> Salvaja. Uh, but this what did is, I do? Did I do a bad job? No, no, no this is fine. This is okay, perfectly good, fine. Good. But I, I think this is the new growth, or at least it looks like it. It looks like a little nub. Exactly. It's like a little pointy nub right there. Don't touch it. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Just don't get too excited because she needs to be on. But anyhow, okay. you put that against the frame so you secure it like that. And when she grows, she's going to grow like this now this guy's gross he's gonna be climbing exactly so this one we're gonna set right here and okay. we can use the zip ties that we use to secure the frame okay this rhizome this part grows but this part doesn't i mean it grows but not as much okay so you can secure it with that and yeah. is she okay just bare like that and, and, and that wire yeah it's not basically gonna hurt her? not at all okay. what you have to do is you have to water daily yes i will but you do water daily so it's I not will. a problem if you didn't then i will suggest perhaps fill in the void inside here with coarse charcoal or with pieces of coconut, you know, okay. larger pieces of coconut or larger pieces of cypress mold. Okay, well, that's something I can always do anyway because I can just drop it through here yeah. Yeah. and it comes. All right, so if you don't water do daily, that. so wow, you guys, I am getting so much information. All right, so I can hold it for you. Yeah, Ready? No, uh, I, I'll hold yeah. it, I'll hold it. Yeah, I can no. hold that in my camera. Okay. All right, so we're doing it, okay, so Carlos is putting the zip tie through. Oh, sorry, through sorry, a, through sorry, an sorry. Opening. No, you're fine. Through an opening, getting it through the rhizome and tying it up on the cage. We're just gonna call it cage. Vanda yeah. mesh is something yeah, to get. Cage it is. And I think this we're doing tight, tighter than the Vanda. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one we're tying it it's tighter than the Vanda. It's almost done. And look how fast and easy. So I was a little bit worried about it being like on the metal, but it's actually not even gonna hurt it. Not at all. At all. As long as you as long as you water daily, Schimberkias they're growing everything. They'll even grow on a block. On a block. I 
and low boom. You see, so we're gonna do really, really tight and okay. it's already secured. Yeah. All right. Gonna go this way. So if you don't water work. daily, check this out. See, you can actually drop from the top. <laughs> Um, you can actually drop like um, uh, cypress mulch. Cypress mulch. You Chunks. have that here? Uh, no, I'm sorry. That you can buy it at the, any hardware store. Okay. And you want the cypress mulch that is uh, undyed, natural, no preservatives, no nothing. No fancy stuff. No, just, just a regular. A, just a plain cypress mulch. Okay. Interestingly enough, it's more expensive because it's nice, it's, it's neat, it's natural. Or you can use uh, lump charcoal. Mm -hmm. Or you can use uh, landscaping lava rock or any rock of your choice. And then you can just drop it through just the top fill and fill it all up. And that will actually make that heavier so that the wind doesn't and move it around. Will, well, the pot is really heavy. It's just not going to go anywhere. And we'll do the same thing here. You can tell that this is the growing part, so that will go against the cage. Right. And basically, we choose another spot, set it up, and that's it. Set it up. Uh, and then my assistant with the finger. Oh, yes. Thank I got you. it. <laughs> So this is nice. This is so exciting. We should set up like a like a mountain day. Everybody comes with their stuff. I think that'll be a good idea. Look at his face. <laughs> you're not get, listen. Discla you're not gonna get rid of me. Disclaimer: I have a toothache. So <laughs> does that make you grumpy today? No, no, no. It's not oh, your okay. tooth. Uh, it's my tooth. Your tooth is hurting. You got a yeah. He's got a toothache, but he's already getting antibiotics and all that good stuff. Putting it through and helping the same out. thing you want to secure it not to the not to the pseudobulbs but to the rhizome all right so you don't want to squeeze the pseudobulbs you want to squeeze the rhizome and get it i mean not not super super tight either but that's the point that it's going to give you but less tight than we did the vandas more tight than we did I mean, i'm sorry more tight than we did the vandas yep that's it that's one wow it's the little things that get me and one excited. Thing, you see the right, you see? Okay. Mm -hmm. I I secure it on the on the horizontal uh, wire so it doesn't drop down. Right. So it so doesn't right, right, yeah, because if you put it here it's then gonna it's gonna slide it's gonna slide down. down. Right. Alright, so we'll do a third one. So we'll make this one three. And then I think that we're gonna do this big one on something else. So stay tuned. <laughs> and we've got a new growth there. So that goes against the surface that you're mounting on, so she grows and attaches to it faster and easier. Yeah. So yeah. So when I when I ripped it off the tree, I kind of messed this one up. But no, but you have a healthy one right there. You're good. A healthy one. You're good. Yeah, I'm so excited. It looks so pretty. I can't believe that I had these on my oak tree for five years and I've never done anything and now I'm doing. Can you? Yeah. Oh, sorry, helper. <laughs> the helper with the, with the hands. So we've got bandas, shambodias. There is no right way, there is no wrong way. It's just what works for you. So yeah, that's one thing that I tell everybody. If it works for you, don't worry what anybody else says. You do it your way. You do it your way. I'll probably get a lot of different comments about this. Oh yes. But you know, well, everybody everybody does ways. it, everybody does it their own way. I mean you've got Schamberkios on wooden slabs. You've got Schamberkios on corks, you've got Schamberkios on trees, you've got Schamberkios on vanda meshes. They'll go <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Let's see. That's a, this is a nice piece. Yep. No, the beauty of it is that they'll grow. They'll, yeah, they'll cover they'll the growing. whole... They'll cover the whole cage. Wow. And, uh, Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it in the garden. This one we're gonna have to do one more. Yeah. Because this one's big. And see the beauty is that you can come, well, you know, if Carlos and Chris allow it, we can come, you get all your supplies from here, and you learn how to mount your things. Don't you leave. <laughs> Chris, you pretend like you're shy, but you're really not shy. 
<laughs> you love when I have my camera out. Look yeah, at him. Right. <laughs> like Natalia says, look at those dimples. <laughs> now, is she gonna come? When is she coming back? I wanna no, see her. She's too busy and she, uh, she, she has it's kind of difficult for her to come over. Yeah, all the way from Tampa. I get it. My Natalia from Just One More Orchid, we miss you. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All righty. Okay. Same thing. Same thing. The back with the growth. And growth. I did a good job removing them, right? Yes, you Tell did. The camera. Fantastic Thank job. Thank you very much. Yes, you did. <laughs> I did not kill them. So, so you guys, so tell me cork. about this cork. Uh, cork is basically the bark of the tree is of the oak family okay and um, and that's a nice if you were, size if you were yes if you were to take the bark of any other tree it'll die okay you cork has the a characteristic that it doesn't die when you take the bark off okay. it continues to grow and it continues to produce new bark uh, there's the exact science behind this i'm not uh, up to it so i can't explain it completely but that's basically what it is they have been harvesting cork in Portugal and Spain for centuries and the trees okay. keep growing. <laughs> so basically, it's a portable tree. It's a portable tree. Yeah, you can mount, like it. That. You can mount anything anywhere, hang it anywhere, do yeah. anything you want with it. I love it. And you guys have really nice sized corks. <laughs> and look at the size. That's a big, that's a big, this is like a showpiece. Yes. I can probably sell this, but I won't. Because I don't sell my orchids. <laughs> my orchids are my babies, and I do not. I have. I sell my candles. I don't sell my orchids. So look at all the different size corks that they have. I can even put it on its own little cage too. So he's getting ready to zip it, zip tie it. Let's see what he's using to attach. This is rough right now, but this is the way you do it. And okay. You tie it. Same, same concept. Get it by the rhizome. Yep. And just give it a nice squeeze. You guys don't have um those um oh, the little, the staples. The little staples. No, we don't. Yeah. Nelson uses those for his um talumias. Yeah. I need to get staples for other projects that I have in mind. Yeah, just basically tie it with a tie wrap and you're good. You gotta attach them together like that. Yes, it's too big. Yeah. So you set up three of them. And you wrap them up. You see, aren't they so nice? I brought my stuff over and they did it and, you know. Nice guys over here. Chris and Carlos from Ophi. Let me show you the cork. So they have corks of all different sizes. Chris, and these you ship, right? All different size corks, you guys. And when they go to shows, these also, wow, these are big pieces. Oh. Look at the size of this one. This is nice nice big pieces so ship ship chris you ship these corks i ship them right yes, yes, you do. and they take them to all the shows yes and okay. then how does this work so how are they priced i know the back says the pounds That's the pound is, uh, 18 a pound. so it's 18 dollars a pound so mm -hmm. for example this so one's two and a half so it's 18 times it, times two and a half so that's the that's the um the price of the cork so very good and it's natural and it is on the what? oh you guys had it here duh okay so flat slabs are 15 dollars oh, and the tubular Did you need to hang those or no? i would love to am i hanging it yeah i think oh, to the tree yeah so then we're gonna get a hanger from here and this is what they use to put in the back of the cork to hang it yeah, nice so stuff. this is yeah this is what i really need to learn <laughs> how to hang it <laughs> I have to learn. I have to learn, or can I just come? No. <laughs> this is super easy and it makes a lot of sense. 
I know a lot of people, is. what they do is they, they drill a hole here okay. and hang it like bait. But then only this much cord supports the whole weight. Right. What I like to do... So we're going to check this out. Let's run this through the back. And then I'll secure on the top also. Jeez. But now the S hook holds the whole weight of the cord even better. Let me go around. Chris has this little eyelid hooks mm. and you can yes. screw it directly onto the wood. So this will be the guide for the top part of the S hook. All right, you guys, so you saw that he put the little We have hook the hook right there. Right there and you're running this Actually, metal through the middle. It has to go backwards just like this I got you food like bit. behind the zip ties Close under the cork. the cork and over the cork and that's it voila oh now, my if you notice, goodness I'm so excited the S hook mm -hmm. hangs the whole thing mm -hmm. The whole length of the cord is holding its own weight. Yes. And the zip ties that secure the plant secure the S hooks in place, plus the little eye hook right there. Genius. Set to go. I love it. You can put your time release fertilizer right up here, like one of those little. Can I have one of those, Chris? Behind oh, me? yeah. Are we doing that? Okay, yeah, let's the do that. The little slow release fertilizer in the white container right in front of you, please. All right, so what are you looking for the uh, little bit of. One of those for the time being. So we're doing sun coat. Now, is this a really good one, the one that Nelson has? Yes, really, really good. Work. All Very right. Well. Very this good. So let me show coat. you guys. Slow man, release Chris, Chris, sun man, coat fertilizer. Yeah. Oh, never. Yeah, you can. No, you yeah. could. This come pre made already. We have them like this. Uh -huh. And we also have a granular so you can fill up the little, um, little fertilizer guys. cups that Chris is going to show you. Yeah. Later. Check this out. Let me see. Oh, Mr. Banna White. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you drop one of this. Right the... in here. Okay, so that goes in here. That doesn't go like hanging, because I did notice that you have yeah. something hang, some mesh little bags in uh, there. Yes, that, but if you notice, they put, them, um, they put them by the, so the slides onto the roots. Basically, you want the fertilizer. If, if it was a mesh, you could either put it here, or you could also tie it here. I like to have it, this one, because it's in, a, in that form. Okay. It fits right there and it's not going to go anywhere. And now every time you water, it's going to release a little bit of fertilizer onto the plant. Yes, that's awesome. Yeah. So that's then it. you're home free. Is this secure in there? It's not going to yeah. go anywhere? It's not going to go anywhere. So with one is enough? Uh, and then... Well, with this size of a plant, you might want to do two or three okay. of them, really. Oh, okay. I'll so just, then I'll I just... just put one in there for, okay. for, for yeah, illustration no, no, no. purposes. Perfect. So I'll get that. So, so and what's in there? What, what kind of mix is that? That's a uh, 15811 with miners. Okay. And it's rated for 12 to 14 months. But here inside Florida, you get about eight months out of it. Okay, so every eight months I have to re re replace yeah. it. What I tell people is uh, replace it with every time we do the spring fall or fall back for the daylight oh. savings. Nice, that that's a good. Months. Hey, that's a good. That's a good uh, reminder. That's a good reminder. All right, you guys. So there's so much information. So my showpiece is ready. And oh, I have, and my shimberkias, and, and, and my bandas. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. So everything is done. I just have to put the, the charcoal in there, which I'll do at home. So I don't get it all over the car. And then what I'm getting today, supplies, as far as supplies go. I'm going home with um, charcoal. coarse charcoal. And this runs you 10.50 a bag. So I'm going to get enough to fill up all of my, all of my new, um, yeah, my new mouth. All you need to do is fill, fill up to here. Yeah. So I'm getting that. I'm getting the banda mesh, you know, with the zip ties. And I'm getting this wonderful cork with this, you guys. You don't want to get a cork if you're not going to be in without this. This is very important. And then I'm also going to go home with the sun coat fertilizer tabs, which is this is a combo for that 15, 8, 11. And they come like little, they look like little honeycombs to me. But this is how they come. I'm not gonna do this for my vandas, right? Should I? Since they're around my pool? Because I hit them with 20, 20, 20. 
every week. Okay, but uh, my um, this uh, this makes sense if you're exposed to rainwater. Because okay. if, if you have a feeding day and it's raining, you can't go out and feed. Right. But if you use one of those or the granular form, right, um, then the plant is eating while it's raining, so you don't have to worry. So you There's don't have a little to... bit of a safety net. Okay. So then I'll just put this on my mesh and burkia, and that way I can also like test it out for yeah. you know for everybody that that watches. All right, you guys. I think we're done with this video. I am so excited to show you guys what all of this, um, how it's all going to look in my garden. Thank you, Carlos. Well, thank you chris don't forget the 30th and the first yeah the 30th yeah first. opie's having their orchid another orchid show um that they have with many vendors they're open to the public you guys can come in buy orchids buy supplies buy cork mounts buy everything in here everything you need for all of your growing needs and you know support these guys they are the best small businesses you guys that's the way you know that's the way to go and support the small businesses you know and that's all for today thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video <laughs> bye bye